So I've removed the action from my Kawai piano. I've got a couple of sticking keys. I've marked them with dots while I were in the piano. This one particularly. And the way I've discovered to uh, point these out when they're out of the piano is to just move this uh, bar up here, which moves the, uh, the felt closer to the strings. And you can see most some of the ones that are stuck. So we're going to remove this action and see what's wrong with it. Let's see if we can fix it. To do that, I isolate the, um, the felt from this side, undo the screw, remove this piece. Ooh, let's fix this from the other side first. Forgot about that. Let's do this. Okay. Pop off these little bits, drag them over the pin. They can just slide out the bottom. There we go. Now this whole thing drops out. And we'll find that this part here is nice and free, it moves easily, especially with a spring. But I'm guessing that this part's going to be stiff. It's quite stiff. So let's loosen that up. So I found these pins are 1.3 millimeters uh, diameter. And I found at the shop a 1.5 millimeter hex key on a handle, which is really handy. Slightly bigger. This is a bit tricky with the camera. It's a fair bit of force to move this. Here it is. I'm just give it a a wriggle and a twist. You can see a bit of felt move out, so I'll flip it over. Do the same thing from this side. Obviously that's going to be freer already. Try it again. Actually, to flatten it down, I'll just use a large Allen key. Sorry, hex driver. seem to just drop back but this one seems to just be a bit stiffer so get this one out there's a screw from accessible through there these are a bit more fiddly to get out something like that there we go so this bit Okay, that normally has a spring which attaches onto that bit of uh, string there. And that makes it move back. However, this is quite stiff. It's definitely not free. If you remove the spring, you can feel how free this is. That is just not good. So I'm just gonna do that same thing with the Allen key, or the, sorry, the hex driver that I did before and open up that hole a little bit on each side. That feels much nicer. Uh, if you look at the end of this key as well, it's a bit hard to see probably, but uh, there is a, a small amount of felt stuck on the end, so that we've actually removed a bit of material in opening the hole up, which is the most perfect tool for doing this, so I'm glad I found that. Nice and cheap. Now that the uh, spring is attached again, that's very free now just as it should be. It's nice. So let's put this back in. And comparing it to how it was, this is now just dropping back into place perfectly. That's exactly what we want. And that's back in. Now the trick to get this thing back on, it's quite easy if you've got two hands. <laughs> it's just to push that through the gap at the bottom, flick it over and then poke the pin through the hole. <laughs> Easy with two hands. Here you go. All right. So now let's try this little exercise again. That key is not sticking. Beautiful. So that was the one that I marked before, actually, when it was in the piano. So that one is now good. I would say that's a fix. These two are slightly stiff, but not as bad, obviously. Uh, now, the only problem with doing this job is you've actually got to remove that side first before you remove the side. So you've got to remove both bits. It's a bit of a pain. So now we're back in the piano. 
And this is our fried cheese. Oh, I can see there's a couple still a bit sticky there. But doing a glitz on white keys. Oh, most of them are okay. That one's not great. It's okay, this one here actually. She seems to be playing just okay. I'm not quite sure why it's not coming back properly, but um, it has been done before. It might need to be redone. Interesting. But at least it's playing now. Before that one wasn't playing at all. I'd have to hit it really hard. But yes, this one here, I must have got it confused with one nearby because that is very stiff now. So it's time to clear that one up. Oh, now. Like I bought one. Beautiful. I've also marked a different one here, this one, this one here, because it was making this odd noise. The other ones aren't. This one's got a bit of play. So we'll find out what's going on. Well, I couldn't find anything wrong with this. Nice and free. That was acceptable, I guess. Seems nice and free. When I drop this, I can hear a bit of a tang tangle. Clang. What is it? Ah, oh, I think it's those two things touching together. <laughs> yeah, that's what that was. Let's see if that's what the actual problem was when we put it back together. And yeah, well, it seems to be it. And it's no longer making that noise just from that being a bit bent too close to that. Hang on, let's have a look. Come on. That is just touching that. So I just bent it out of the way a bit. Probably bent it forward would be the way. Beautiful. There's another one happening in there. Yep, let's fix that. No more noises. Yahoo.